Hello and welcome to another U um, YouTube tutorial for Photoshop. Right, we've uh, gonna, I'm going to show you what Opticity does in layers. It's really handy and it's a really handy thing to use, especially if you want to merge an image into the background or make it almost transparent, but you can still see it like a ghost image basically. So, um, first thing you would need to do, and I would always recommend this, is create a new layer. Uh, always do layers because it's it's really helpful. Uh, mode is normal, um, and then obviously you can see a new layer is being put in there. Uh, I've gone to the liberty of basically um, getting this image and using the quick selection tool, which is that icon there, and basically got rid of all the non-interesting parts of the image around it. Um, so once you've selected it, you can press Command and C, uh, go back to your previous image. Now it's on the layer, so it's like a clear piece of acetate on top of your image. So even if you had a marker and you went over it, you could always throw away the acetate and your image would always be safe. That's what a layer is. So let's just press Command and V. So that's brought our image in there. So we go to edit and free transform. So because we want to change the size of it. I know it's a bit pixelated, so I do apologize for that. Um, and make it a bit bigger. We can press enter and that's made our image bigger. Now if you want to make it almost ghostified or transparent, um, all you need to do is change the opacity a little bit and it should change it and now you can see it's ghostified and it looks quite nice doesn't it and it looks quite nice and that's more or less how the opacity in the actual layers works um, and it can be used to quite quite a good effect um, on anything you want to do with your pictures uh, thank you for your watching and your time and have a nice day. Bye bye.